Hey guys, it's Merrick. I've got another gameplay commentary for here today. This one, we're yet again playing Planetside 2, this time on VS with the Ursa. The Ursa is a longer range, slow firing LMG that's relatively accurate at longer ranges, so long as you actually burst fire. But we don't do that here, so I'm just going to make the best of it as I can. I am using high velocity on the Ursa as I do with everything that has high velocity, and I'm pretty sure I swap between the Nemesis, which is the standard launcher, and the Decimator as necessary. This was a double XP weekend and during prime time, so I didn't think there'd be a whole lot of chance to get around the outside of fights. So rather than sensor shield, I decided to stick with survivalist. And because it was prime time, meaning there's gonna be a ton of everybody, there's probably gonna be a ton of vehicles, and I ran flak armor. We're starting this session off at Whispering Pass, which if you've never heard of it, is next to the warp gate. Don't worry, I've never heard of it either. But I basically run straight out into the middle of the fight to get an idea of what's going on. Immediately, it looks like there's a hold in this first building, but because it's the beginning of my session, I don't know how to read these signs, so I just stick my whole face in there to go check. Running it back, I go check this other building and find much the same thing. Still, knowing that there is a whole lot of good things in those buildings, I decide just to go over top of them, and I see a hold on the far back edge that is still trying to deny the top of the building. I'm able to pick one of them off, but I just dance around trying to clear some of this out, while it looks like, according to the minimap, there is some pressure finally making space into those buildings. By the time I respawn off of that death, we have broken into this first building, and I just swing out, trying to make sure I open up more space. I'm able to do a little bit of that, but as I try to chase this guy down on the corner, I get hit from behind by a fly any angle man, and I just don't have any chance to do anything about it. By the time I get back up, that point is gone, so I just take my ball and go home, and we join combat, taking us to a tech plant. I'm not always a fan of tech plants, but there's not a whole lot going on. This is beginning in session, so I'm just taking what I can get. I'm able to make it inside without getting bullied, and when I get in there, it seems like this is exactly as big of a fight as it looks. There's a bunch of guys across the ledge, and I am actually able to pick one of them up before I head upstairs to try to get a more advantageous position. I see some guys on the second floor, and it does seem like there might be a retake on the second floor, but when I get up here, it seems like we actually have control of most of the area, including the balcony, so we just clear off the point. There is an OS that goes down, and as I'm wrapping around, I see a bunch of them have come up the jump pad and are trying to go onto the balcony. I take a position to not get thrown too incredibly far from the OS, and then I move into a position to actually go try to fight that. But as I'm pushing up, they're coming up the other jump pad as well, because as somebody with a brain would know, there's two of them. I forgot. And I just try to clear them out and keep myself in a decent position. But it seems like we have control of the second floor, so that shouldn't be too hard, and it's more me trying to fight everybody else to get these kills. It takes a few seconds, but it seems like I showed up just in time for this fight to end. I'm able to pick up one extra guy who was left behind, and then we move on. We move on to SRP Nanite Relay Station, which is another base I think I've been to once if ever, and I basically run on point. When I get down here, I see this is a fucking terrible approach path, and my feet are incredibly exposed before anything else that I can do. So I try to make the best of this terrible situation by just staying as far away as I can and trying to slot tight angle shots through the very, very small corner. I can't exactly push up because there's no cover. I could cross the left, but I don't know where that is going to be. And peeking from the left to right is a little bit worse than peeking from the right to left. And actually this grass and foliage in front of me is kind of working to my favor. It's more likely going to be making me a little bit harder to see for them. But that guy gets a very tight angle and takes me out there, so we move around to the other side of this exact same point, and we do pretty much the same thing. We just hold the angle, we try to take tight shots at longer ranges, and just bleed out what we can, because there's a lot of people in there, there's not a lot of us here, and I'm just trying to make the best of it. I should have disengaged there, but I die instead, so I run it back and come back to the same position, and we have a little bit more of a presence and a footing, and we're beginning to push onto point. So I'm assisting with the push, taking out this guy on the second floor, and then trying to get a position. It seems like there's a push coming in from the other side, so I'm also racing against the clock to try to pick up some of these kills. I do get onto point, I try to take out this guy at a long range, but somehow someone swung behind me. I do get the flip on him, but as I turn back around, someone jumps off of the second floor, little rock thing, and I just am not ready for him and die to that guy. I try to run it back because we do actually lose the point, but what winds up happening is we lose the point completely, we lose the compound completely, and it doesn't seem like anybody else is really showing up to refight for this. So I run around a little bit, try to pick up a few kills, nobody is here from either team, and I just redeploy elsewhere. So I wind up at Mulak Pass, and I just shift W towards point. 
I get caught off guard and I'm completely out of position. I panic and kind of shoot a bunch without actually letting my guns recoil and reset. I do manage to get the kills, but as I turn the corner, there's an infiltrator. I have a med stick in hand. I try to get the commissioner out, but I just can't actually get to play the game, and I just run it back. Considering there were a lot of people running around before, I'm a little hesitant as I peek out looking for people. I manage to catch a rocket, but I hear somebody shooting on the second floor, so I run up to pick him off, and rather than going back downstairs, I peek the window, and I catch the guy that was pushing me off guard. I expect more people to be pushing me, so I keep checking these staircases, and right as I go to look away, the guy that I was expecting to peek up the stairs does run up the stairs. I'm able to catch him off guard, and then I go to check towards point. Point is completely capped, and it's back capped, so there's nothing I can do, but I see this guy in the long eye-shaped building. I wait a little bit for him to re-peek, and he never does, so I assume that he might be trying to redeploy, so I wind up running him down. I go to redeploy myself as I just rotate through the point, but I catch a claymore, and then there's a fucking sentry turret on there, which also denies me from redeploying. I just continue through, trying to find somewhere to chill, and as I'm about to redeploy, the guy who I just I fought winds up jumping over the wall and trading me out, because why not? From here, I wind up looking around for a fight for a little bit, but I wind up heading off towards Gurney Dam. I don't like this place, but it's the only fight that I can find, and there's a fuck ton of people here. So, I run towards the point, we're at a farther away spawn, thankfully the Ursa is a longer range LMG, and I just try to take these long range shots. If only I could remember to accurately use my fucking burst fire, this would be a lot easier, and I'd get a lot more done here. I am technically burst firing, but I'm not giving enough downtime for the recoil cone to actually reset, so I'm not doing myself a whole lot of help here. But while I'm trying to shoot those guys, as I back off for load, I see some cheeky guy running up behind our team, and I'm able to take him out. I go to continue my reload, and I see another guy on the roof, but I forget how my hands work, and I miss every bullet. I die when I don't really think I should have, and I just run it back to try to get these guys off the roof, taking long range shots where I see the ability to. As I get back there, it seems like they're preoccupied with some people that are running out from where a Sunderer is now set up, so I'm able to clear them off before I continue back towards the point. From there, I try to push up towards point, but we have already lost the entire facility. I get a flank on a few guys in a container, but I lose sight of them through the smoke, and then I just get shot from three different angles at once and fall over. I do run it back a few more times to try to thin these out and see what I can do, but it seems like a lot of the pushing power has stopped coming here and maybe been heading to another compound, and they wind up pushing out towards us, so I kind of just hold my position and try to bleed out whatever I can. My aim is a little bit to be desired, and I forget to reload, which cost me a few kills here and there. Not exactly the cleanest play, but I am able to pick up a few of them. However, while I'm doing this, someone does manage to sneak up behind me, and I do not get the flick on them, even though I feel like I had enough time to. And then I just wind up moving on, because there's nothing else to really do at that point. That carries us on to Tacon Storage, where, as in traditional Merrick fashion, I'm going to be taking this long-range LMG and breaching a point with it. This compound is already under a tremendous amount of pressure, so I'm able to sneak in and manage to get a pickoff no on one of the defenders, which gives me an opportunity to try to push in farther. I fuck up my nade and it lands on the bottom floor as opposed to landing on the second floor. I get a good wrap and catch one of the defenders off guard, but I fuck up and leave the medic alive, and then I don't rotate, which just allows the medic to pick that guy up and then he C4s me. I don't know exactly what the fuck I was doing, it was just not a solid play. Thankfully though, somebody does manage to pick me up, and as I'm rotating around, I see a lot of purple pushing up that staircase on that side. So, to mix it up, I head up a different route just to make sure there's more for the enemy to deal with. I see there is an entire Thunderer on the second floor, but it seems like this place has mostly been breached already by the time I got back up. So, I spend my time cleaning up the point and then denying reses. But there's not even time to cut away, because by the time I get that one cleanup and reload my gun, there's already a second wave of pushing coming in from the front door, and we have to defend that. This is an incredibly long segment for here, so I'm just kind of going to voice over the whole thing in its entirety. What winds up happening is they try to breach in, and I deal with the first few coming in as I can. I throw damage down, but I don't actually manage to get cleanups because I just don't lead properly. 
between not burst firing and not leading, a lot of kills that I could have got just get away from me. And while I get an all right return from this entire situation, I I'm not, not going to let that go. This does work out all right. This is an incredibly fun fight. I love the back and forth. But what winds up happening is I could have gotten a significantly better return had I just actually been hitting things. You want to put yourself in good positions so that you get these opportunities because you're not going to actually successfully hit all of them the way you want. But if you position and play well, you give yourself more chances to be in good positions to get good opportunities, and then you just actually have to capitalize on them. I am able to take a few good gunfights here, but again, there was so much more opportunity for this entire situation than what I wound up getting away with. Taking that fight, I took a big hit though, so I back off to heal. I check the minimap and I see that they are wrapping around the other sides, so I try to make sure that I can go cover those other doors. Turns out there was nobody on that door, and as I get back up to the balcony, I try to tap fire one of these far corners in case there is an infiltrator. There's not an infiltrator there, so I turn and fight somebody on the corner, and turns out there actually was an infiltrator there. I catch a free death, but I get a res, and I get back trying to hold these corners and prevent them from running across and getting the push in. I see in the minimap there's a large push on the southeast, and I want to go try to help with that, but there's a lot of people on these corners that I'm still actively engaged with, and there's enough firepower going back and forth between the balcony that I feel like if I try to make that cross along the balcony, I will just die. I also don't feel like I really want to back off the balcony, I want to keep up with these gunfights because there's more opportunity for kills here, and before long it looks like that southeast corner has been cleared, so I no longer have to worry about that. It's weird having a fight so long that I haven't had to cut away, but I still have to start wrapping this session up as we bring it to a close with 58 kills in 23 minutes. I got really fortunate this session as there were just actually a large amount of good fights. I think, however, that I underperformed on both my accuracy and weapon control this session and I need to work on that more, but I also took a lot of long range fights. So while that gave me the edge between being out of people's line of sight normally and in my weapon's effective range, it did not exactly make it easier for me when I'm already struggling to land bullets. I did let myself regenerate shield a few times, but I also shift W'd into some free deaths, so I guess that kind of comes out in the wash. As always, there's a bunch to improve on, and I don't get to mention it at all. But as always, let me know what you do like, let me know what you don't like, let me know what you think, so I can improve my videos moving forwards. Thank you guys for your continued support, and I'll see you guys next time.